Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a desk tour. So I have now moved into my boyfriend's and we finally have my new desk set up. And I showed a couple of pictures on Instagram and quite a lot of people have asked me if I can do a desk tour, which I'm of course more than happy to do. Uh, so I will show you guys everything I've got. I'm gonna do my best to show you where everything is from. Um, yeah I'll, I'll try and remember as much as possible i'll try and go through everything as i know like there's a lot of stuff here that you guys might be interested in seeing i have got my light on because the lighting in this desk is um is a little bit tricky um so this desk is the okay pronunciation mickey mickey m-i-c-k-e desk from ikea it is a corner desk um excuse it's already messy underneath um so i had this desk at my parents house and then now i'm at my boyfriend's they wanted to keep my desk so i've got it again here um it is my favorite desk like i lusted after this desk for so long um and so i was really excited to get it um when i had it um, in my room at my parents house and now i'm really excited to have it again i've really missed having my dedicated planner space um so the only downside to this desk is that it is really dark in the back section so i do have some fairy lights as you can see these are i think just from primark um just these mickey light ones but like they're really not useful in the day i've put them on for the purposes of this video <laughs> but i wouldn't normally um so i do have to sort of sometimes use a light as well and this is from amazon um but yeah so you might want to think about having some kind of light unless the dark of it doesn't really bother you um, but otherwise, I love everything about this desk. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is try and maybe go through the sides first and then tackle the, the mammoth task of this back section. <laughs> so on the left hand side of the desk, I have um, this like side, which is a storage side and Disney mug life. Um, and these are from Primark as well. Um, so uh, on my old desk, I used to have like an A4 pull down here, which is what it recommends in the instructions, uh, where you would store A4 documents and that kind of thing. Uh, but I don't need to do that because um, I never used to use it before. And it's actually so much better for storage for me now. So uh, this is one of like the best things for me about this. But I'll start from the top. So these crates are from poundland i think um and so i have one where i store post-its and then i have one which is called display so it's the kind of leftover things from that whole section and then this shelf is at the perfect height for uh plan of faith mini albums so i have two of those um and then i have just a beauty and the beast um ornament which is uh from one of my lovely friends from when we did a show together last year this unicorn keyring which i think my mom bought me and then i have my uh 2019 annual pass for disneyland paris badge uh just to commemorate that that was the year that i mostly had my annual pass then the second shelf this is like my absolute favorite part of this desk is my planner face album shelf so these are large albums um and this is one of the best things about having this desk because before these were like in bags here or they were like on my boyfriend's sofa and stuff. So it's really great to have these like all together and it just looks so pretty. Um, I will do a separate storage video on these um, because I know that a lot of people have requested to see those, but I'm just so thrilled with how that looks. And then the bottom shelf is leftover large plan of these albums. <laughs> um, and then I've got two albums here, which are from, oh, grace's shop oodle with doodles i don't know everyone's just gonna laugh at how i say it as always um i've got two reusable albums here from uh one's more with love this album's from plush papers and then these are my small albums from planner face i don't use small albums because i do every all of my functionals go in these two large ones even if they're small sheets um but i mean they look really nice on the shelf so <laughs> it's all good we're also hoping to get a white unit to go to the left of um my desk so at the moment we have a brown unit and this has got some of my boyfriend's stuff in it which we could store better elsewhere in the house um and next to this will be like my laminator and my silhouette and some of my other planner storage stuff um we were going to try and buy a white unit but it's actually really hard to find them so we might just take my calax from my parents and take out some middle shelves and hope it'll stand on its own <laughs> So that's the left side. And then for the right side, so I've got this clips box, which is from the range. And this just has like 
well, clips, <laughs> self-explanatory. Um, this is from the annual pass event that I went to in Disneyland Paris last September, where they just gave you like these free cards. I have no idea what you do with them. Uh, this is a Kiki K planner box. Um, and this, I just store like really cute envelopes and packaging and like tissue paper from shops and stuff. Uh, Cause I just really love it. And I like to look through it sometimes. Uh, then uh, this is a, oh, what are these called? I can't remember what they're called now. They have a really funny name. Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, they're from the Disney shops. So I have a few. So the ones I have are like featured here. Uh, this is Marie and she's just hiding a chip purse, which has highlighters in and a set of Disney happy families. Um, and then this is a um, badge from the Disney store. So I'll just show you guys while I'm here. Uh, this is just my UKPA big meat lanyard. Uh, and I just put badges on that. So um, we've got like this Hufflepuff one from Wonton in a Million. Not sure why that's not at the right angle. Um, I think this might be from Paper Lobster. This is Drix Productions. This is from the Musical Waitress. This is like a charity one, for, I think that's Make-A-Wish. That's from the Musical Aladdin. It's a Macmillan one. Oh, mini planner. Um, so yeah, so that's what I have down the side. And then on the second shelf, I have personal planners and my B6 from Kiki K. Um, these are not planners I use. I did once, apart from this one I've never used. Um, but I don't use them now, but I just really like the way they look on the shelf. So <laughs> I keep them. Um, we've just got some spare insets on the side and then this mini journal, which we got from the UKPA Big Meat. I'm not actually sure who the shop is for that but some people will know. <laughs> and then the shelf at the bottom are my A5 planners. This one is also an A5 from Kiki K, but it's just really tall because it's a zip planner. Um, and I've got some uh, highlighters there. Uh, I've got another album from Grace because it looked like that album is really like it sticks out it's really chunky the spines are really thin and it just doesn't entirely work uh but it's kind of hidden over here so it looks fine um and then i've got a silver instax album which has like a crown on it so it looks like ukpa which is from paper chase and then i've got this beauty and the beast um light uh which is from uh, i think you can get them on amazon but my friend got me that for my birthday okay so let's tackle the inside so maybe i'll do the stuff around first and then i'll come back to the wall so this is washi tower yeah so it's actually sunglasses drawers but i obviously keep washi um so i'm absolutely in love with this like a lot of the planner girls have it but it's just a kind of ideal for this desk um so i got this from amazon so i'll try and track those down and link them for you guys and then on top i've just got some like a washi stack from the range this is a pen pot which i had to find a new home for this because it used to go on the a4 thing but hangs down on the left hand side and obviously it can't now um but i think it looks fine there um i need to actually consider whether i need all those pens because i don't actually ever use the pen pot to be honest this is donald in that range a foofy that's what they're called a foofies um so that's donald and they smell um they all have like a different a different smell <laughs> that makes them sound horrible but it's a nice smell um just gotta keep some chapstick on hand there you know very important um then i've got this which is like just a little storage box which i don't have anything in actually which i got when i was on holiday in lanzarote and then that's my chilies bottle <laughs> case because it's just so pretty so i keep it on my desk then this cat uh unicorn k this is from love unique store or something like that i'll try and track the the shop down um and then uh, my mini fan <laughs> which is from amazon um is needed in this room and then i've got um that rainbow washi thing my parents bought for me that's maybe from kiki k or paper chase and then i think the bottom sellotape thing is from kiki k and then this cat stand which is blue tat because otherwise it falls over um that is um one of the like table gifts that me and emma did for the ukpa big meet then i've got my album from purdy planner uh the reason it's here and not with all my other ones is a where would it go <laughs> but also um the front is why i got it it's beautiful it's beauty and the beast it's my favorite the spine is just a continuation of the thing and like i just don't think it's that attractive a spine compared to the front so i'd rather have it on show and this is my mini foofy and then this is where i keep like reward cards and like where you put stickers on to get codes and stuff um and then we've got my cat bin which i've had for so long like i'm not sure i could even tell you what shop that's from now uh but he's really cute it's like he's just a little bin <laughs> and then behind that i've got a passport from when my mum and i went to harry potter studio tour 
Okay, so I've actually decided to do this back section with my light turned off because uh, it was creating a really weird shadow and I actually think you can probably see it okay. Um, so we've got my big meat ticket there, this handsome print. This is the downside to the pen pot is this blocking this really nice print and I'll need to find the shop and link that below because I can't think what they're called right now. Um, and then that is just a magnet from my nans. Um, that double box is from Elizabeth Plans and there's a, another one down here. The bell is from uh, a calendar that my cousin bought me and I just really liked how cute bell looked so I kept it. Um, I can't think what the shop that UKPA is from um, but that was part of our sort of big meat bundle. Uh, we've got plush paperies, a uh, die cut there and a die cut from Joy of Planning, some Hello Petty paper um, journaling cards there. That uh, reach for the stars die cuts from strawberry on designs the journaling card is planner face and then the little heart one is paper sheet plans and this home um sticker here this is from fantasy design store and then we get into like planner face corner so these are all planner face journaling cards and then that's uh from joy of planning i can't think who the mickey head is from maybe no white space stickers then we've got uh like a catherine um uh, lettering there which is from chocho mimi then we've just got some badges um, just from some stuff I've done, some pride badges from uh, Disney Store, some Joy of Planning, Kina Prints, Die Cuts, Drix Productions there with the fox and that one at the bottom is from Elizabeth Plans and then these badges, the Spyro is from Brogan Coral, the Alohomora might be from her as well, I'm not sure about the Hufflepuff one, uh, I put those up at Comic Con, then the bows are from Planner Face, the circle is from No White Space Stickers. The pixie dust is from Fantasy Design Store. And then we've got a little stick with the Planko heart one there. And then the other side. Um, so the first journaling card is Plush Paperies. Then Harriet Wright Designs. Then probably Plush Paperies again. And then I think that's um, possibly No White Space Stickers. But it might be another shop there. Which is like a Disney Castle one. This is from when Paper Shy was Toffee Bananas. Just because it's really cute. I've uh, got another planner face journaling card and then that little box one is from Happy Honeybee Designs. Um, then we've got plush paperies, probably plush paperies again, but I'm not 100% sure. And then probably plush paperies again, but again, I'm not entirely sure. Um, then this September 2019 is from uh, One Ton in a Million. Um, so I've, I won like a goodie bag thing from her, which is there. This print is from Brogan Coral. I absolutely love her stuff. I'm gonna put one up on my wall. So um, if you've never seen her stuff, it's worth checking out because it's just adorable. Um, then we've got a little fridge bank there for my boyfriend. Um, that's Harriet Wright Designs, kind of obviously. That's from the Disney store, the Bambi one. And then I'll just move these out the way. Uh, then the Christmas one is from Harriet Wright Designs. And then the little central perk thing is from, I think it's from Paper Chase. It was like a really tiny little book of sticker book or like sticker flags and stuff that I had from like ages and ages ago, but I just loved it. And then up here, we've got this Hermione uh, journaling card, which is from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. The little wand thing is from, my boyfriend got me a wand for Christmas and it was the little thing that came with that. Um, these designs are all from Naomi Lord Art, I think is the name of her shop, yeah. Um, so we've got Cedric Diggory, because Hufflepuff Pride. We've got a Leo, because that's where my birthday is. We've got the uh, Hufflepuff Badger, and then Flurb, just because she was really cute. <laughs> um, and then I don't know the name of the shop for this, like Alpaca Art. Um, it's from Comic-Con, but yeah, I'm not sure where that's from. Um, this uh, like hobby craft tower is from uh, Strawberry Land Designs from the Advent Calendar, I believe. Um, that calendar's probably from Plush Paperies. Then we've got uh, like Find Your Tribe, which is from UKPA, but I'm not sure what shop. We've got a Barack Obama card that my, I'm pretty sure my mum got me that when I started my first job out of uni. I'm <laughs> just like, we're big Barack fans in our house. Um, and then just that little cat quote is um, about kind of handling anxiety and stuff from one of my planner lovely friends, Malika. So that's the inside of everything. And then I'll just go around the top. So on this side, so we have my female alpaca collection because um, I have quite a few. So they're all named after Harry Potter characters and I get them mostly from Tofu Cute maybe? Uh, I might have to have a look because I'm not 100% sure. This one is Ariana named after Albus's sister, got Minerva, Nymphadora, Luna and then this is Dobby who's not a girl but I have more boy alpacas so he has to go here. And then on the other side we've got the boy alpacas so we've got Remus, 
Albus, Cornelius, Gilderoy and Colin after Colin Creevy. <laughs> um, and then on this side is like my Harry Potter side. So I've got this Hermione figure, which is from Q Posket or like that's like the brand. I've got a chocolate frog, which I realized yesterday went out of date in like December from the Harry Potter studio tour. And uh, this magic pin, which was to do with the um, one that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Got just a card back there, which is from my boyfriend from Christmas, um, but it kind of looks Harry Pottery. Um, then we've got this um, candle, which I see if I can find the name of the shop. Oh yeah, so it's centopia.co.uk. Again, I got that at Comic-Con. It smells amazing. Uh, I've not actually burnt it, but it just smells really nice. Um, then at the back there, we've got a card, which is just from Paper Chase, I think. Um, then I've got this Cherry Tree Light, uh, which is from The Range, I think. Um, I've got this practically perfect Christmas decoration, which is from Primark in a bowl that my boyfriend got me when he went on holiday. And then it's on top of an Aladdin bracelet from the show. Uh, and then I've got this Legoland figure, which I got when I went to Legoland with my family last July. Then this is like the Disney side sort of. So I've got that bell card in the back, which my mum made for me. Then just put this trophy up here. Um, this was from, uh, I went to a conference in January and I just had so much anxiety, but we won the quiz and I was with people I didn't know. And it just, it felt like a, you know, an anxiety achievement. So I keep that on my desk to remind me of that. Got this Bell's Library book, which was a lovely gift from a friend when we were doing a show last year. Um, and it's sort of quotes and poems and stuff that are, you know, that Bell would probably like. Uh, I've got this Bell figure from Q Posket. And then got this Eiffel Tower, which is from um, when the Eiffel Tower, uh, from when my boyfriend and I went to Paris. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my desk tour. I know a lot of people have requested this, so I really hope that you guys will find this useful. I will try and link to as many of the shops as I can in the description down below, but it's a lot. Um, and I may not be able to find them all, particularly with stuff that I've had for a long time, but I will do my absolute best. Um, if you do have any other questions about anything, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel for other planning videos um and hopefully a storage video soon if my second light arrives soon because i realize my lighting is just not good enough in this room quite yet um but, and you can also find me on instagram at peace.love.plan otherwise i will see you guys in the next video